Ever since Kirby and the Forgotten Land came out about a month ago, and the Part 2 finale of Attack on Titan recently released too, I began to think of a question. If these two protagonists met each other, would they disagree with each other's motives, and would one try to stop the other? The answer to that question is yes, because Kirby is a good guy. He believes in protecting good and fighting off evil. Now Eren, well he's not totally a bad guy, and also isn't totally a good guy, so what would happen? Well, the only thing they both know how to do best is fight, and eat. But more importantly, fight. So let's begin. First, let's look at Kirby. He is from a place called Dreamland. He was supposed to be a legendary star warrior, but was born 200 years too early. That is why he's still a baby. Let's discuss his powers. Kirby has a unique ability, which is the power to eat and copy his opponent's abilities and moves. He can eat someone and then spit them out, but while doing so, he copies them. This is seen throughout his games. He can possess many abilities. Another thing that makes Kirby unique is his speed. When he is on his warp star, he is faster than the speed of light. But Kirby has faced many powerful enemies, but arguably the most powerful being Void Termina, who appeared as the final boss in Kirby Star Allies. Now Void Termina is called the Destroyer of Worlds. He has the ability to change forms and is immune to all attacks. It is so powerful that it can wipe out a planet in seconds, and it took everything out of Kirby and his allies to beat it. But even when defeated, it comes back always. The only way to stop it forever is to hope that it reincarnates as a friend. Now that we have discussed Kirby's most powerful enemy, let's revisit his copy ability again. In Kirby and the Forgotten Land, there's an option to upgrade abilities to make them stronger. Now, as if they weren't strong enough, this just boosts Kirby's power. Every ability can be upgraded by a weapon Waddle D. The strongest ability, when fully upgraded, is the sword ability. It goes from the common sword to Morphle Knight Sword. This ability gets its upgrade from one of the most powerful final bosses named Morphle Knight. The year was 845, and things seemed quiet like they have been for the past 100 years. Then suddenly, a bright loud lightning can be seen and heard. Then from the top of the 50 meter wall, a head of a skinless being emerged looking down at the people within. It's the Colossal Titan. But while everyone was running, one person stayed behind in horror, staring the Titan in the eyes. That person was Aaron Yeager. After that, the rest was history. But assuming that you've seen Attack on Titan, I won't dive really deep into the story. So here's a general rundown. Spoilers if you haven't seen. Aaron Yeager is a very interesting character. He is a no more human, but possesses very strong abilities, like the Founding Titan ability, the Attack Titan ability, and the Warhammer ability. The Founding Titan allows him to do the following. The ability to control Titans, the subject of Ymir, in terms of telepathic communication. He can also alter their memories, and in a way, control them too. Now as far as the Hammer Titan ability, with this he can create objects by forging weapons from himself instantly in battle and create sharp spears that pierce out of the ground around him as a shield. Those are his unique abilities, but when he is a base titan, he has super strength, super durability, and healing regeneration. See? Nice and easy. Now, like we did with Kirby, let's see some of the enemies that Eren has faced. His first true fight was against a skilled opponent came when he fought the female titan at the end of season 1. The female titan is very skilled when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat and traversal maneuvers. When they first met in the woods, she beat up Eren pretty bad and left the rest of the characters in shock because of her skills. But when they had a rematch at the end of season one, Eren beat her because he learned and adapted and in defeat, she crystallized herself so that she wouldn't be captured. But the battle that showed Eren's true strength and abilities was when he fought Raynor Brown, the Armored Titan. The Armored Titan is a shielded skin, 
fast, and very strong titan. His skin is extremely hard to penetrate. When Eren and Raynor first fought, Eren was defeated because he was overwhelmed by the armored titan's strength and size. But when the rematch came, the fight was a little bit more even. But this time, Eren was the one who was victorious. He used his hardening ability to crystallize his knuckles, and only then was he able to break through Raynor's armor. But as Eren was about to win, Raynor cheated in a way. He had half of the upper body of the colossal titan drop onto them. In their third real final rematch, Eren defeated Raynor with so much ease. So easy, in fact, it only took one punch. At this point, Eren was already stronger than Raynor. Yes, I know that they fought again for the fourth time, but Raynor's reinforcements helped, so it doesn't really count as a real fight. Eren eventually leads an army of thousands and thousands of colossal titans. He's going to kill the world before they can kill or hurt his friends. This, is for, this form is the biggest we've ever seen from him. So now, who would win then? You have a pink ball who has traveled space and is faster than the speed of light and has fought many powerful enemies that could have ended the universe versus a man who has so much vengeance and hatred for people or things that could harm the people he cares about. Well, there are many ways that this can go down. The most likely is that Kirby has to try to stop Eren's rumbling. But would Kirby succeed? Yes, he definitely would. It wouldn't matter what universe this fight would take place in because Kirby is pretty much unkillable. Maybe Eren would try to stomp on him, but... Kirby would just spring back up and be ready for more. And if he wanted, he could eat Eren and take his powers. Imagine that, a Kirby Titan running around. I think that's funny and creepy. Sorry, Eren. Maybe you'll get him in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and checking out some of my other videos. Peace.